son of a... Welcome to this issue of Mad Murphy, where I take a few topics that are pissing me off and simply rant about them. I am in no way an expert on any of these topics. These are simply my opinions based off of what I've seen, heard, and read. And if anything I have to say angers you, just get over it. If you wish to make a counterpoint on any of these topics, please feel free to email me with the WHP contact form at wellhey.com slash contact, or simply add a comment to this video. I will not and absolutely refuse to address any idiot who wants to start a screaming match with me by starting off, including, or ending with insults. These are just my opinions, just as you are entitled to yours. So if you want my respect and have a mature debate, then you may want to start off with some respect as well. You ready? Let's dive right in. Something wrong with your kid? Is it the video games? Is it the television? Is it the music? Nope, it's you. We've all seen it a thousand times. My son plays Grand Theft Auto V and now I fear that he's turning into a gangster. Or, my daughter listens to goth metal and suddenly she's turned into a lesbian. What's wrong with my child? Harley, hand me my hammer. It boggles my mind that some parents these days are so completely clueless as to why their children are not turning out the way they planned. These are the same idiots that feel that McDonald's is a good source of nutrition. While you're at it, I hear nuclear radiation is excellent for your pores. Well, why did you buy him a video game if you didn't want him to fucking play it? Why does my daughter love this music? Then why did you buy that album for her if you didn't want her to listen to it? I understand that when you become a parent, there is no manual, but for Christ's sake! Let's use a little common sense, people. You do realize that you have to raise your children, right? You have to participate in their lives. You have to guide them, instruct them, teach them. These are not iPads that you get from Best Buy. You just can't go to the store and ask Geek Squad, what's wrong with my kid? Are you fucking serious? I actually saw this article on television and the reporter didn't call them out and I was so upset. The mother and the father were well over 300 pounds a pop and their kid was well on his way of winning most likely to resemble the Goodyear blimp and he was diagnosed with heart disease. The tub tub was seen waddling around the house and in every shot, every fucking shot they had of this rotund fucker, he had some junk food, cheeseburger, chocolate, sugary, what the fuck ever in his hand, haphazardly smearing it all over his face and his parents, his fucking useless piece of shit parents were quoted as saying, we just don't know how he got this out of hand. This this, this is child abuse. And if you don't think it is, then there's something wrong with you. They are literally killing their kid by just letting him eat anything he wants. And it wasn't part of the report, but I'll bet, I'll fucking bet my silver-lined banana hammock that if they would have simply taken that apple pie out of his greasy fucking sausage fingers, he would have thrown a conniption so huge that it would have given him a heart attack and that would have been the end of it. Good, I'm glad he's dead. Now you fat fucks can be charged with neglect. I hope you both get diabetes and croak while rolling each other in the flower trying to find a wet spots. Kids are not built by Ronco. You can't just set it and forget it. You have to be there for them. You have to tell them what's right and what's wrong. You have to teach them by example because, and I know this firsthand, they will do everything you do. Everything. Case in point. If you haven't already guessed, I do not have the cleanest vocabulary in the world. Murphy, you swear too much, they say. Hey, go fuck yourself. And as soon as my son started talking, I knew, I knew that Sailor's Thesaurus would no longer fly in my household. Try as I might to clean up my language, I know there will be certain words that slip through the cracks, but every time the boy would repeat one of my more colorful four-letter Anglo-Saxon words, I would let him know that that word is naughty and you're not supposed to say that. Fast forward to most recently. He is now the swear sheriff. Every time my wife or I swear, he is right up on it with, hey, you're not supposed to say that word. Of course, and my wife doesn't agree, but I believe it to be a reinforcing and remembering lesson. 
If I get caught by the popo, I always ask him what word I said and he reluctantly tells me. And I let him know that he is correct. I'm not supposed to say that word. I feel it allows him to commit all of these bad words to memory so he'll instinctively not use them because we had an altercation. We got a phone call from the daycare director one day and she had to be professional, but you could tell over the phone that she was chuckling through her teeth. Apparently, in the toddler room, the teacher was attempting to explain a new game the children would be playing, and my son simply didn't get it. He didn't understand, and he let the teacher know. At one of those stereotypical low points in volume, my son very calmly and confidently blurted out, What the fuck? At hearing this, my wife and I struggled to hold back our laughter. Yes, it was a case of poor judgment on our call, but you have to admit, that's fucking hilarious. After that day, we strove to instill the fact that there are certain words that you just can't use until you're older. And I'm a firm believer of not bullshitting my kid. I'm not afraid to wash out his mouth with soap if he continues. But he took it quite well, and now he's a sheriff around these parts. I do not understand why you wouldn't want to be an integral part of your child's life. Yes, it's a lot of work, but it's rewarding in its own sense. You get out of it what you put in. My son wants to be around me. He wants to do things that I do. He wants to help out around the house. He wants to learn, wants to get better, wants to excel. Why wouldn't you want to see that for yourself? Why wouldn't you want to do a good job of parenting so that you can be proud of your children when they are all grown up and discover a cure for cancer or become president or sword of the moon or even Mars? Just recently, I started a new game with him that seems to be catching on. Instead of saying, clean up your toys, I make it a game. I say, I challenge you, son, to clean up all of your toys in the living room. And he will respond, challenge accepted. And then he'll do it, and I'll time him. If he completes the task, no matter the time, I'd just like to see him hurry and run around. But if he completes the task, he is rewarded. Maybe with a piece of candy, maybe fruit, whatever his little request may be, I will tell him. Congratulations! You've won the grand prize! You get to choose one snack. Nine times out of ten, he'll choose something decent, so I'm not worried about him getting all fat and sloppy. He loves sports, so that's how we get to keep him fit. We get a baseball set, we get him indoor hockey stuff, we get him a football. Most of the time he wants to play outside, which kind of sucks in the winter in Wisconsin, but we do what we can. He rarely, if ever, plays video games, mainly because he doesn't have the motor control yet. But what he does play are fun, active games, like Nickelodeon Dance or ABCMouse.com, stuff that'll work his body and his mind. I know for a fact that he's destined for greatness, and that's because we put greatness into him. We like to look at children as a crock pot. If you simply put the bare minimum into the pot, you'll get bland, boring soup, maybe an au jus. That's it. Garbage in, garbage out. But if you put in meat and potatoes and onions and a shitload of bullion cubes and let it simmer, check on it periodically, adding something here and there to enhance the flavor, then damn! you got something even Gordon Ramsay can approve of. The TV and the fridge are not babysitters. If you don't know that, well, then you should know it now. You cannot coast on this. You cannot cut corners. Being a parent is a 24-7, 365 job. It's tireless. It's exhausting. It's relentless. It's frustrating. But it'll only get worse if you don't put forth an effort. Soon all that negativity will turn to joy and laughter and excitement and encouragement and pride and there's nothing on this earth better than when you look in your child's eyes and you can see that they are eternally grateful because you put your heart into it. If you stuck around this long, I want to thank you for letting me air out my grievances and believe me, i got lots of them. So I'll just close out with the usual. It doesn't matter what your religion is. I think we can all believe that treat each other as you wish to be treated is a pretty decent rule to live by. So why don't we all just stop the fighting and treat others the way we'd like to be treated? You can never have too much of a good thing. Unless it's beer, then drink responsibly. I look at all of my friends and fans as younger brothers and sisters. I am not yelling simply to yell. 
I just don't want you to make the same mistakes I have. So if I go off on you individually, it's because I see you're about to hit that point where you're going to turn into me. And we cannot have any more Murphys. The world can barely tolerate one. If you missed any of this Mad Murphy issue, the transcript will be posted on wellhate.com, so stop on by and enjoy the insanity. And if you have a suggestion of a topic you'd like to hear my opinion about, you can let me know in the comments or at wellhate.com slash contact. As always, you can catch me and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr, and of course YouTube. This is Murphy1976 of Well Hate Productions, where we bring you colorful insanity to your drab, uneventful lives. Thanks for everything, Robin. <laughs>